In the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare, air defense has become one of the most decisive factors determining victory or defeat. The skies are now dominated not only by manned fighter jets and helicopters, but increasingly by drones, cruise missiles, loitering munitions, and precision-guided projectiles. To survive and prevail in this environment, armies require defense systems that are mobile, flexible, and capable of countering multiple threats simultaneously. Germany, long recognized for its engineering excellence, has stepped into this field with a series of cutting-edge platforms that carry the name Sky Ranger. These are not just incremental updates to traditional air defense. They represent a shift toward highly mobile, modular, and future-proof systems. The Sky Ranger family offered in both tracked and wheeled variants with weapon optics such as the 30mm and 35mm cannons reflects the most advanced thinking in short-range air defense today. At its core, the Sky Ranger is a turreted air defense system developed by Rheinmetall and Orlikon, designed to provide highly effective protection against drones, helicopters, and low-flying aircraft. The idea is simple but powerful. Instead of relying solely on large, fixed, or semi-mobile missile batteries, the Sky Ranger integrates advanced sensors and high rate of fire cannons into compact, mobile platforms that can maneuver alongside armored units in the field. This mobility ensures that frontline troops are not left vulnerable to air attack while moving through contested zones. One of the first key models to gain attention is the Orlikon Sky Ranger 30. Mounted on wheeled armored vehicles such as 8x8 platforms, it features a 30mm revolver cannon capable of extremely high rates of fire, combined with state-of-the-art tracking and fire control systems. What makes this system particularly impressive is its ability to engage not just traditional targets like helicopters and aircraft, but also the growing swarm of drones that have become one of the most dangerous threats in recent conflicts. The Sky Ranger 30 turret is compact, lightweight, and modular, allowing it to be integrated on a variety of vehicles. It employs advanced, programmable airburst ammunition, which detonates at a precise point in space to maximize damage against small, fast, and hard-to-hit aerial targets. This kind of ammunition is especially effective against drones, which are often too small to be reliably destroyed by conventional shells. But while the Sky Ranger 30 emphasizes lightness and flexibility, Germany has not ignored the need for heavier firepower. Enter the Orlikon Sky Ranger 35, a more powerful variant that utilizes a 35mm cannon. This weapon, based on the renowned Orlikon design, can fire advanced AHEAD ammunition, short for Advanced Hit Efficiency and Destruction. Ahead rounds release a cloud of sub-projectiles at a carefully calculated point, forming a lethal cone of tungsten fragments that shreds incoming missiles, drones, or aircraft with surgical precision. This gives the Sky Ranger 35 an incredible ability to neutralize fast-moving threats, including those traveling at supersonic speeds. It can even provide a measure of defense against certain types of cruise missiles. The trade-off, of course, is size and weight. The Sky Ranger 35 turret is heavier than the 30, requiring robust platforms to carry it. This brings us to the question of mobility and why the Sky Ranger family is available on wheeled and tracked vehicles. Wheeled variants like the Sky Ranger 30 mounted on an 8x8 are lighter, faster on roads, and cheaper to maintain. They are ideal for rapid deployment forces, peacekeeping operations, or missions where strategic mobility matters most. However, when it comes to high-intensity conflict against peer adversaries, tracked platforms have clear advantages. Tracked Sky Ranger systems, like those mounted on the Lynx tracked infantry fighting vehicle, can follow tanks and mechanized units through rugged terrain, mud, and battle-damaged landscapes. They offer better protection, stability, and durability in the harsh conditions of a modern battlefield. This is why Germany and many NATO countries are leaning heavily toward tracked platforms for the future, ensuring that air defense systems can keep pace with frontline forces under fire. The Lynx Sky Ranger 30 is a perfect example of this philosophy. 
By combining the proven mobility and armor of the Lynx KF-41 with the sophisticated Skyranger 30 turret, Rheinmetall has created a vehicle that can operate in the thick of battle while providing constant air cover. This combination turns the Lynx into more than just an infantry fighting vehicle, it becomes a node in a larger, layered air defense network. Similarly, the Lynx Skyranger 35 variant offers even more firepower, capable of tackling faster and more dangerous aerial threats, while maintaining the survivability and endurance needed for frontline operations. One of the remarkable aspects of the Skyranger series is its modularity. Both the 30 and 35 turrets can be equipped with additional missile launchers to supplement the cannons. This hybrid approach provides a dual layer of defense, guns to engage smaller and closer targets with near-instant reaction time, and missiles for longer-range interceptions. The sensors, including 360-degree radars and electro-optical systems, ensure detection and tracking of multiple targets at once, even in environments saturated with electronic interference. In modern warfare, where adversaries employ drone swarms and precision strikes, such versatility is essential. Why, though, does Germany emphasize tracked platforms so heavily for Skyranger deployment? The answer lies in the type of conflict NATO prepares for today. In potential peer-to-peer -peer warfare, armored brigades will advance through contested zones under constant risk from attack helicopters, drones, and loitering munitions. Air defense must be present on the front line, not dozens of kilometers behind. Wheeled systems may struggle in muddy terrain or under heavy fire, but tracked systems can keep pace with tanks and mechanized infantry in virtually any condition. This is why systems like the Lynx Skyranger are seen as the backbone of future ground-based short-range air defense for NATO. Of course, Germany is not developing Skyranger in isolation. Other countries have their own competing concepts. The United States, for example, is experimenting with striker-based air defense vehicles that integrate Stinger missiles and 30mm cannons. These offer similar capabilities to the Skyranger 30 but lack the proven programmable airburst ammunition technology of Orlikon's system. Turkey, on the other hand, has fielded the Korkut self-propelled air defense system, a twin 35mm gun mounted on an amphibious tracked vehicle. Korkut is optimized for countering low-flying aircraft, helicopters, and drones with a high rate of fire, but it lacks the same modularity and advanced sensor integration found in the German Skyranger concept. Meanwhile, South Korea has introduced the K-30 Biho, a twin 30mm gun system with integrated missiles, which offers comparable versatility but also does not match the sophistication of Rheinmetall's modular Skyranger approach. The uniqueness of the German design lies in the balance. Highly advanced cannons, modular missile integration, cutting-edge sensors, and full mobility on both wheels and tracks. One interesting fact is that the 35mm ahead ammunition used by the Skyranger 35 is the same type employed in naval CIWS systems, which protects ships from incoming missiles at sea. Bringing that level of lethality and precision onto a land platform gives armies a naval-grade shield against airborne threats. In a sense, the Skyranger 35 brings the philosophy of ship-borne close-in weapon systems directly into the land battlefield, providing unmatched protection for advancing units. Beyond their immediate tactile role, the Skyranger systems also reflect a larger trend in NATO militaries the shift back toward layered air defense. For decades, many Western nations reduced their investment in short-range systems, relying heavily on air superiority from fighter aircraft. But with the rise of drones, hypersonic threats, and missile saturation tactics, armies now recognize that ground-based air defense is not optional. It is essential. The Skyranger represents Europe's answer to this challenge, offering NATO forces an indigenous, scalable, and mobile solution that can work alongside longer-range missile batteries like Patriot or SAMP-T. The debate between the 30 and 35 versions also highlights an enduring tension in military design. Do you prioritize lightness and flexibility or heavier firepower? The 30mm system is easier to deploy in more varied environments, 
while the 35mm system offers unparalleled destructive capability. In practice, many armies may choose to operate both, deploying the Sky Ranger 30 with rapid reaction units and the Sky Ranger 35 with heavy brigades. Together they form a complementary pair, covering different operational needs within the same family of technology. As drone warfare continues to evolve, the importance of rapid-fire, high-precision air defense will only increase. Conflicts in recent years have shown how devastating drone swarms can be against unprotected armored units. The Sky Ranger's ability to engage dozens of small aerial targets in rapid succession gives it a vital role in preventing such disasters. Furthermore, as autonomous systems become more common, the advanced sensors and fire control algorithms of the Sky Ranger will allow it to adapt, identifying and prioritizing threats in complex multi-domain battles. Looking to the future, the Sky Ranger family may expand even further. There are discussions about integrating directed energy weapons, such as high-energy lasers, into the turret to provide virtually unlimited ammunition against drones. Combining a laser with a 35mm cannon and missiles would create a truly multi-layered defense system in a single vehicle. While such developments are still in the testing phase, the Sky Ranger has been designed with modularity in mind, meaning it is ready to incorporate these future upgrades without requiring an entirely new platform. In conclusion, the Sky Ranger series, whether the 30mm or 35mm, whether mounted on wheels or tracks, represents one of the most advanced and forward-looking short-range air defense solutions available today. Its combination of mobility, modularity, and lethality makes it uniquely suited to the demands of modern and future battlefields. The emphasis on tracked platforms underscores NATO's preparation for peer conflict, where heavy mechanized forces will require equally robust air defense to survive. Compared to competitors, the Sky Ranger stands out for its balance of proven technology and future potential, embodying the best of German engineering in a field where innovation is now a matter of survival. It is a reminder that in the wars of tomorrow, control of the skies will not belong only to fighter pilots. It will also belong to the mobile, armored guardians on the ground who carry systems like Sky Ranger into the heart of battle. What are your thoughts on the Sky Ranger? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.